And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Mark Alepsi. He is ranked 7th in his gold division with 98 wins and 94 losses with 1,164 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the south up against Mark Alepsi. He is a Zerg player and he is blue in the north. On the map is Metalopolis, which is one of my least favorite maps to play against Zerg players because of this huge choke on the expansion. Look at all that room, and what do Zerg players love to use that room for? Zerglings and Banelings. Oh, and I'm ne I, I, I cannot seem to master the, the marine micro on those Banelings, but I'm working on it. I'll see what I can do, but... Man, especially when they're unexpected banelings. Oh, that is the worst. Unexpected banelings. And what are we going for here? Looks like 10 scout. That is it. Not a 10 hatch. Like I was fearing for a second there. Just a 10 scout. No extractor trick. Not not too surprising. I don't see most Zerg players go for it anymore. As long as I, as far as I can tell. Most Zerg players either have decided it's not worth it, or that it's not uh, worth the effort, or the, the minerals, whatever, just just don't go for the extractor trick anymore. First uh, supply depot is finished, and Sparrix is on the way. I am going for the scout here, and I see nothing once again. I'm a horrible scouter. Expansion is on the way. It looks like he did go for a 14 or a 15 hatch. That is pretty standard now uh, against a Terran player. He did try to do some harassment on my SCV, so I pulled two off the line to take out that drone. Barracks did complete no problem, and I'm behind on saturating my gas again. But first Marine is on the way. And I do go into his base, I will see the spawning pool, and I will see no Vespian geysers. So, I don't know what to think, really. Should I be thinking, oh, he's going to be going for mass uh, Zerglings? Well, maybe not. Now the gas is going up, it looked like at about 16. So, 14 or 15 hatch, about a 15 pool, and then... 15 or a 16 pool because I actually killed that drone in my base. And then a 16 extractor. I don't know what build that is. I don't... I, I, Zerg players... Uh, don't know their builds well enough yet. SCV still hanging out. It doesn't look like he is getting really any Zerglings yet. He's still getting Queens. I think... I want to keep this SCV in here, especially on Zerg players, because I want to find out when those first Zerglings do pop up. I am fully blocked off here with one bunker. And once again, all my units are going to be rallied to this little ledge here, because it's an awesome little ledge there. And a Baneling Nest is on the way. Am I going to be able to spot that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. Let's see here. No Zerglings are out, and my SCV stopped scouting. Get over there. It's right there. Go get it. Go see it. I need to see that. But no, he's just going to chill there. Two, first two Zerglings are out. They are going to be getting some scouting done at the Zalnaga Towers. And he then is continuing to macro up. And there I go, I should be able to spot the Baneling Nest. And unfortunately, by the time I spot that, all three of my barracks are up, and I am well underway into my build. And I'm pretty uh, set in it right now. I can't really go, okay, now is the perfect time to switch into into a factory build. Now I'm, it's like, you know what? As long as I've got the Marines and Marauders out there, I might as well 
upgrade them, you know? I might as well use everything that I can to get them. Supply Depot does spot that Zergling there. So he did not use them for the Zelnaga Towers. He's using them to guard any co any sort of push. Well, not guard, but they'll they'll get some scouting done on it. Concussive shells, stim pack, and weapons level one upgrade aren't on the way. And just one Marauder, and there we go, starting to catch up on the macro. I still need one. Now two more Marauders need to be trained, but I don't have the minerals for it right now. I did salvage the bunker though because I am going for a push because he never really seemed to get Zerglings, but they are out now. He does have 15 of them out on the field. I took out one. Overlord hanging out here. Kind of an odd placement on him. He can't really get that much scouting done. And of course, this Supply Depot should be able to spot any sort of Nidus play, and I don't know if that's what he was going for. But boom, all these Banelings are out. Oh, Banelings. Hate them. Hate them so much. Four Overlords coming out. He is now 36 out of 68. What is going on there? So I'm stimming up. Oh, did not micro at all. And it cost me once again. Need to micro those Banelings. That is definitely something I need to do that I don't do. And that Marauder will definitely die. No, he's going to run away. He's going to kite the Queen, which is not very hard, let's be honest. Oh. Back off and attack. Back off and attack. And oh, the Queen is so slow. Oh, I let it get a shot off. And look at that. He's going for a hatchery here. And all these Zerglings out. Oh, that is a scary looking thing right there. Spire is on the way as well. Where is it? There it is. So small. Such an important building in such a small little bubble. Centrifugal Hooks is on the way. That is the Baneling speed. And here I'm going... Oh, crap. If he's going to be getting mass Banelings, I'm going to need me some siege tanks. So I'm getting a factory up now. Zerglings are out in a weird position. He should be getting some harassment done on there. I did not fit, I, I did not reconstitute my block off. So it would be a great time for a run by here. He still hasn't really scouted that much into my base since that initial drone. I do have the supply depots around here, so no Nidus network will make it into my base, I don't believe. And boom, command center is down for the expansion. But still, oh my gosh, what are these Zerglings doing? Either either you have them defending your base, like I have here, right? Or you're out pushing. Like, I would never have this army hanging out here. Which is the equivalent of what he's got right now. What is that? So I drop a scan, and I'm going, Okay, there's nothing here. So I don't know what to, to think, really. What I should have done is drop the scan in the back here, and I would realize that there was a, uh, a spire. You always have to assume that Zerg players are hiding their tech behind the mineral lines. I don't know why they do it, but they always seem to do that. I don't know if it's because they feel like if any sort of push out here will result in dead buildings, but if I go for banshees here, boom, those things are dead. Four mutas are out. That's he needed more gas. He needs more gas still. I mean, he's only got enough for what one more? How much? How much is a mutalist? Yeah, 100, 100. So he's only got enough for one more muta right now. Now just starting to saturate the other ones here. And it, well, he needs. I mean, he needs a lot of stuff. He could use more drones. I mean, I am a little bit ahead. And he's had an expansion for how long? And with all those Zerglings out, I, I mean, I've been forced into a defensive build here. I put the siege tank out. Still doesn't have re uh, the, the siege mode researched yet. It is almost done. An armory is on the way as well. I am getting a planetary fortress down here, by the way, because... 
because this thing is hard to defend with an orbital command but he's got so many mutas out on the field now five and five more on the way that makes ten proving once again that I can do basic math kindergarten grade math does not escape me and boom one shotting this is the zergling with that siege tank now I was really doing that just because I wanted to have a laugh but that's not a smart thing to do I, I've basically shown the zerg player that I have a siege tank well I didn't need to do that now these mutas are even more going going to be what am I trying to say here because I did not set up that sentence properly mutas are definitely going to be more heavily invested into I should say you know he feels more confident in them now now that he sees that I have a siege tank and apparently this small little itty bitty force scared off all those mutas mutas are arguably the biggest scaredy cats in the game I mean I've seen SCVs that will handle themselves better than mutas. Oh crap, there's like three marines, run! There's like 12 of us. Nah, man, there's there's like five There's five marines, man. We've got to run. I, I don't get it. If I was up against the any players with, with the mutas, I mean, I don't know, I'd be constantly using them. Like, okay, run over here, attack this tech lab. Okay, run over here, attack this tech lab. Especially attack that tech lab, because he can get Thors out of there. Oh, don't get, don't let them get the Thors. But no, they're just like, holy crap, there's Marines, run! Like, of course there's Marines. What were you thinking? Eleven more Mutas are on the way. I need a Thor. And I need to stop building Marines. Or, sorry, not Marines, Marauders. And start focusing on those Marines. Because he's got so many Mutas. But, ah, oh, there we go. Thor is supposed to be on the way, but I can't make him because I'm supply locked. So, Supply Depot on the way. We're both not doing that great of a job with the macro right now. It's not that late in the game for us to be having those high numbers. And I'm queuing up SCVs like a champ because I'm so high on minerals that it doesn't really matter, really. <laughs> and I'm going for a medevac drop here, it looks like. I don't know if he spotted that with the Overlord, so that that Overlord placement did benefit him in the l mid to late game, really. So I'm going around. Where are these guys going? Oh, they're dropping here, but there's almost no drones here. Looking at the income tab, I still, I mean, okay, he finally just got 36, but it was, what, 29 for a long time. And I drop right as these drones transfer. Oh, horrible luck for him. All these zerglings are on the field. These mutas will force these medevacs to just die. And I have no choice but to let them die because I want to get as much damage done and putting them up to into uh, the medevacs just so they can be sniped by the mutalists was not a good idea. Thor is out. Awesome. Are there... There, I have no missile turrets to fend off any of these mutas. How many of them are there? Uh, 16 plus 5 is 21. Hooray! Basic math once again. And Thor has no upgrades. Am I producing more Thors? Yes, I am. I probably need a, another factory here. I need, I need more, more Thors. Just the one starport now. I am getting Vikings. That will definitely help against this massive amount of mutas. Whenever I play against a, a Zergling player, or sorry, not, oh, I always want to call them Zergling players. They're Zerg players. Whenever I play against a Zerg player, they always seem to go really heavy on, on the mutas and not so much on really you know zerglings or or banelings just yeah 21 mutas 33 zerglings and four banelings so really this is just a muta build and you know compensating with with zerglings 
those guys were so bunched up that I should be able to get a ton of damage done on them. Look at all that red there. And once... Okay, here we go. He magic boxed. Is he gonna... Oh, but he screwed it up. Okay. So, yeah, those guys don't go down real easy. I think... Okay, he had probably seen the little tutorial on the magic box, maybe? If you saw those, th when he moved the, the mutas here, they bunched up and then they started to spread out. What you want to do is not attack, right? You want to just move command those mutas and then stop them when they're over the thors. What it looks like he did there was let them spread out and then he right clicked on the thors and then they just bunched up again. That's how it works. And Markalepsy is forced to leave the game because of bad micro on the on the mutalisks really but i mean i was so shocked when i when he left the game i was like really that was it i mean he's got 14 zerglings where are those guys hiding here's zerglings 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 i mean yeah they are. most of them I mean, he had that third so early. He's had this this gold hatchery up for a long time. But really, two Thors? Two Thors took him out? Four, four? And then, I mean, these Marines have got to get a few of them too, right? No? I mean, I took those guys out so fast because of the splash damage on the Thors. Let's see what... It doesn't say it, but... There's four attacks, and it does 12 damage each, so 48 damage, and then there's splash damage, so, I mean, at least I believe there's splash damage. Yeah, of course there's splash damage. So, that was the game. I mean, I, I, I called this one, what did I call it, like, tech, tech up? What the fuck? <laughs> he left? <laughs> and look at that, 695... 2667. Is he producing? Like, no, he's not even getting any more mutas. I think he's just pissed because all his mutas died because he didn't do the trick properly. I don't know. Maybe he didn't even know about the trick and, and just didn't do it. So, please, 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 I am not a Zerg player, so I can't really explain it to you better than, you know, other players. So, look it up. Magic box trick if you are a Zerg player and you want to know how to use your mutas properly. Because, I mean, he had what, like, I already forgot, like, 25 mutas? And, you know, he basically lost to two Thors. Pretty much scared him off. And then, you know, all these Marines, you know, there, there's not that many of them left. And not many of them have kills. Most of them died to, to these Thors. And so that's the game, you know. Micro does save does save it in the long run. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.